Hello. Thanks so much for dropping in. I have left this machine sitting. Oh. Excuse me. For a goodly number of hours. Um, between 12 and 16. And, of course, it's still happy. I wonder, first of all, I wonder which port this works on. All right, it's not port number two. It's got to be port number one. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Now, I, as I was saying, this is Omega Race on the 64. And, oh, I missed everything. And I really haven't, I don't think I really hardly ever played this. But really, the more I try it out, the more I think that the VIC-20 version, oh, boom, I'm dead. The VIC-20 version is better. So I guess I waited a long time to ultimately be kind of disappointed in this. Like, the, I, I figured the sound would be better. I figured, I mean, the graphics are kind of rudimentary as they are. That's just the way the game is. But I just thought they would have done more than just make it look kind of okay. Anyway, what I do, this joystick, it's beautiful. I don't know who at Epix designed it, but they should get considerable... I'm in trouble. I'm screwed. I think I'm dead. Are we done? No, we're not done. No. Anyway, it's going okay here. Oh, no, I died before he got me. Am I done? No, I'm not done. I don't think I can get by that thing. Oh, no. No! Oh. That was terrible. Okay, am I done? I'm done. All right, great joystick. Epics. Beautiful. This is just... This is the one. If you get a hold of one of these, don't let it go. All right, so... Once again, why are we leaving this stuff on for hours and hours and hours? To test the power supply. And this has been on for many, many hours. Oh, that's lovely. 5.09. So that is just dandy. Dandy. So I'm going to unplug this. Because I really don't need it there. And I will put it in oh dear cords are tangled oh. cords are tangled now what I really have now is I have basically three boxes here of things to check out things that are good and things I don't know what they are um this is not going anywhere that uh, it's a little rattly inside i should open it up and have a look but it's fine it's dandy it's it's lovely anyway 
that does not need to be on at this moment. It does not. So when I'm really at the state here, I've got I moved lots of stuff up here, and that's good. This is the box room. Okay, now I'm getting orange feathers. I gotta do this. I've gotta back this stuff off. I'm not, I don't mind wearing the orange feathers, but I don't want to get more orange feathers onto this hat, which I am trying to resurrect. And it is much better. I have a thing coming up where, actually this hat is part of the picture. I went and sat for this artist fellow, who's an incredible, everything he does is incredible. Um, and he took pictures for him to draw from. And he did. And I know that he did one drawing from that sitting. It's incredible. And this hat, isn't it? So he's having his first sort of art show thing. And he is at not a supremely advanced age, but he's, you know, recently retired. <coughs> so I'm going to go to the opening. And I think I do want to wear this hat. But I want to get it as lovely. as it can be, and it certainly wasn't lovely. But mind you, you know, things happen when you actually wear something. But that, oh, there's still a little feather there. All right. That is much better than anything has been before. Of course, the inside is still falling apart, but that's coming along nicely. Anyway, what I really need to do, and as I know for people who watch me over the world, I get things, and then they get on the desk and they don't leave. And then, of course, eventually I say, well, that area's full, I'll go record things somewhere else. But i got to not do that. I have to reset as to bringing stuff up here and get things figured. Now, before I... I haven't decided this power supply is one that would be, at least from their initial measurements, dangerous. And indeed, it is still dangerous. It is 6.20, etc., etc., etc. That is never going into a 64 again. Never, ever, ever. No way, no how. Um, I'm, I am pondering marking it specially somehow. I've already tied the cables up to tell me, don't use this, so that I can use this to demonstrate a power supply that you should not use. This one here, maybe I should have kept it too, but anyway, I didn't. It was like dead. Nothing. Zip. Nothing. Which, of course, is not as dangerous as this. This would be deadly to a 64. Anything pretty much higher than 5.23 or so. Uh, or actually, Rudy really said like 5.4. Anyway, just be careful out there. So this, I will figure out what I'm going to do, but I have to mark it. I've already got it sort of figured as to what it is. But I've got other stuff here that I've got to move. Like I have my, there's T-Pug magazines, and there's also some other publications. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, wow. This. May 1977. It is. It's a fairly thick edition. And let's see if we can find an interesting car commercial or something.
so far, not usually, there is something of interest in these publications. And I would say, look, you know, have a good time looking back at previous editions because you'll find something besides cigarette commercials. And alcohol commercials, I like to find things that are, oh, here's something, go fly a midget, MG Midget, the lowest priced true sports car in America, <coughs> wow, cool, anyway, that's one car thing, Oh, and look, here's an... Oh, okay, this one's starting to fall apart. This is most $600 receivers sound as good as this one. It's a Pioneer. I gotta be careful. This cover... Oh. Unfortunately for them, this one sells for under $300. Wow. Well, anyway, this cover is almost coming off. So I have to be very careful. Not to make it worse. Oh, here's a car. Raise the roof tonight in a Dodge Charger. Looks like, oh, it's a T-top. Well, anyway, I have to move things off of this table. For example, in front of me, there's a tape gun. There's the dead power, not the dead power, the overpowered power supply. There's all this stuff, which is miscellaneous stuff that needs to be sorted and gone through. There are some cartridges that I do like. Centipede, Le Mans, Epics. Oh, sorry. Pit Stop. So I'm going to set them over here. Then, of course, we have the diagnostic cartridge from Retro Rewind. I still have to get the, um, uh, the harness. They did not have them available at the World of Commodore. And these screwdrivers, these are my chip pullers. I know I should use a chip puller, but I'm not going to. So I think for things that I need and want to have accessible, well, look, there's two mysterious chips. Anyway, what I really need to do, oh, look, my nail clippers. Uh, and look, Jumpman Jr., Anyway, I do want to sort of reset. And, oh, another disc notcher. Good. Um, and I've got the, the SARS newspaper clippings, and I've got my X10 module. Actually, this is something I do want to see about doing. I wonder if I could do it now. Because, you see, the big light here, I, I would like to be able to turn it on and off without doing stuff. You know what? I, this thing, it has a house code, and it has a co So the house code is a letter. I'm going to set this one on G, because I know I have nothing else set on G. And it's, it's the nice thing is, it's got little things you have to kind of move on here. But, you know, the plug fits nicely in there. So I'm going to set this on G, and I'm going to set this on 1. And then I'm going to go to the control module. I'm going to put this on G. And so if I plug this in, first of all, it should flash the time, kind of like an old VCR. And now if I go over here, and this might work, if I unplug this big light, which I very much like. And I put it into this module and plug it back in. If I press 1, look at that. I don't have to unplug it. I don't have to diddle around with it. I can do this. Now, it may be, once again, I, I need space to work. This is not the place 
to have this, but it is helpful and handy to be able to say, oh, I'm going to do some stuff on the screen. I really don't want the reflection. I don't want to have to reach over and unplug that light. I can just push a button. And yes, I'm in the dark. Well, sort of. So I'm going to refine my positioning for this, but I think I will incorporate it. The other things that are still sitting on the desk here are, of course, the paddles. I think that they're pretty good. I have my hat. I want to have it ready for that art thing. This power supply does not need to be here. It really doesn't. There's a silver label 64. I really got to get started testing that. And, uh, yeah, as I said, here's the here's the stuff from Sarastock. Um, and the dead power supply, which is too overcharged, and all these magazines. And in front of you here, you can't see it, but I'll move it. I'll get it. Is my... Oh! Beautiful, beautiful Commodore adding machine. And look, you can move this depending on whether you're using decimal places or not. It's magic. Anyway, I have to find other places for these things. And so I have more room to work. Also, down below here, I've been putting stuff in boxes of stuff to test and boxes of stuff that's good. Da, 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 da. Anyway, those boxes are now overflowing. So, that is not good. And, oh, uh, there's a box of discs and things. And Anyway, what I really need to do is take a little time, probably when I'm not filming, and do a little reorganization to clear space and put things in boxes and carefully mark them, but also so I know where where things are. That is key because i'm in the box room and yes so um i will work on that perhaps at the moment what i will do is um well i think it has to be a balancing act i think i need to do some tidying and i think i also need to keep on moving stuff up um, so, at this moment, um, that was easy. I don't think I have anything else to show, and I will very likely go downstairs and see what else I can find in the pool room and bring it up, maybe do a video or so, but also keeping in mind I want to re- Retidy here. I do. Because two tables is great, but when they're full, there's still no room. So, thanks for being here. I will try and do a balanced approach of sorting and assessing and tidying. I shall. So, I will return to the pool room, oh, and I will gather more boxes, and I will be prepared to keep on keeping on. So indeed, thanks for coming. It is much appreciated. Comments are always welcome. Questions are always welcome. Bye for now.